The South African government says it's proud of the successful start to COP17 in Durban and a Johannesburg karate coach accused of sexually assaulting nine of his students will apply for bail in the Randburg Magistrates Court today. Amosisiwa Khadebe with the latest news update. The South African government says it's proud of the successful start to the COP17 United Nations Climate Change Conference in Durban. It says it's confident that this has set the tone for the rest of the important international conference. The SABC's Asana Madunyane has more. Government spokesperson Jimmy Manyi says President Jacob Zuma has commended the United Nations for the constructive spirit in which it has collaborated with South Africa in the arrangements for the conference. In his opening speech yesterday, President Zuma said he looked forward to the establishment of the Green Fund in Southern Africa, which would eventually be extended to the rest of the continent. During the two-week conference, countries will make a last-ditch effort to save the dying Kyoto Protocol. The conference is aimed at cutting the greenhouse gas emissions, which scientists have blamed for rising sea levels. I'm Asanda Matsawanyane for SABC News. Disaster management teams in KwaZulu-Natal have started mop-up operations following heavy rains which claimed five lives in the province at the weekend. They will also compile a detailed report on the extent of the damage. The rains caused extensive damage to homes and properties in Durban, Peter Maritzburg and other rural areas of the province. Spokesperson for the Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, Lennox Mabaso, says they will continue with assistance to those who are affected. We are continuing with the MOPAP operation to ensure that we conduct a detailed assessment so that a comprehensive report on the incidents that happened because we now are aware that it's not only in the area of Devon, but there's also some incidents reported in areas such as Peter Marisberg and the district of Kubu, so which are sporadic in various places. So we'll get a comprehensive picture as possible by tomorrow so that we can then be able to table the report and we understand fully the magnitude and the quantification of the damage. The trial of murder accused Tandi Makobela and Vela Mapena will continue in the Western Cape High Court this morning. The pair is on trial for the death of acting Cape judge Patrick Makobela in June 2009. It's alleged that the two were the last people to visit the judge before his body was discovered in his luxury Bantry Bay apartment. It's alleged that the two were the last people to visit the judge before his body was discovered in his luxury Bantry Bay apartment. His body was wrapped in a sheet and his face covered with a bloody pillow. Policeman Etienne Van Eed, who was one of the first people on the scene, has testified that he did not suspect murder when he reacted to the call-out. He also says there were no signs of strangulation. And lastly, a Johannesburg karate coach accused of sexually assaulting nine of his students at his studio will apply for bail in the Randburg Magistrates Court today. The hearing was postponed on the 18th of this month when the court heard that the student's parents were worried about the coach being granted bail. Investigating officer Joan Gobeni earlier testified that the students were attending counseling sessions. He says they fear for their safety if the instructor is granted bail. The state says new allegations, including rape against the coach, emphasize why he should be kept in police custody. However, his lawyer Jacques van Heerden has denied suggestions that the coach is someone to be afraid of. Catch the latest news anytime here on Newsbreak Option 1.